English teachers. Let's talk about writing a good objective. Objectives are the most important part of the lesson plan. If your lesson plan is like a recipe for a delicious dish, the objective is the end point. It represents the delicious dish that comes from following the instructions of the recipe step by step. The objective represents what students are expected to learn from the lesson. This is why you should always write your objectives by starting with, by the end of the lesson, students will be able to, or swabat. For example, you are teaching students to talk about their family. Your objective would be, by the end of the lesson, swabat, or students will be able to, talk about their family. It is important to have concrete and observable objectives. Avoid using verbs like understand or know because those are not easy to observe. Think about it. How can I see if you understand or know the words for family members? However, I can observe if you can make a poster with your family members and talk about them. If the objective is stated as an action that is observable, then you can assess students' ability to achieve them. Let's do a quick quiz. Which of the following objectives are well written? By the end of the lesson, swabat, learn about different kinds of weather, such as sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, and windy. Know the different ways to describe weather, such as sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, and windy. Understand sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, and windy. Say if the weather is sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, and windy when shown a picture card or gesture. Which objective is well written? Correct. The answer is D. By the end of the lesson, students will be able to say if the weather is sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, and windy when shown a picture card or gesture. This is a concrete and observable objective. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to assess if your students have achieved this objective. This is the mark of a well-written objective. Remember to start with SWABAT and use concrete observable actions to write a good objective. Then you should be able to plan your lessons step-by-step step to reach that objective, like a recipe that ends in a very delicious dish.